the coronavirus. It's like it's a doomsday virus. Lots of panic about it, especially in our industry because we come in contact with so many people. Some passengers are not getting picked up because uh, they're being discriminated against because of this virus. Some drivers are actually getting refused rides uh, because they think the driver may have the virus. So a lot of weird things are happening. In this video, I'm going to share with you a lot of the facts, what you can and can't do uh, so that you can stay healthy and also not get deactivated. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you why I am not going to be wearing a surgical mask. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Check out our new logo. Pretty awesome. Great. And uh, welcome to the video. So we're going to talk about the coronavirus. I've had some pretty close contact with the coronavirus because last month I spent the entire month in Bangkok, Thailand. And a friend of mine came to visit me who lives in Phuket, which is another city in Thailand. And he said, oh my God, when you go back, you know, you're going to get inspected and you may be quarantined. And I was like, oh my God, really? And as it turns out, I went back on the 30th. So today's the 10th. So just 10 days ago, and I went from Bangkok to Hong Kong. So I was actually in China at the Hong Kong airport and everybody was wearing the masks. And, uh, you know, I was tired and worried and, you know, took this long flight, got this SFO. And fortunately, when I got to San Francisco, I just went right through customs. They did the usual check, check, check. And I was outside breathing the clean California air. But things have changed quite a bit in the last 10 days. So let's jump into uh, some details about this uh, virus. So number one, what are the statistics? So what we know from China is that about 40,100 people plus have gotten sick with this. And what you're seeing right now is a, a map. And you can see China has the great majority of people who are sick, okay? In the United States, we only have 12 cases, very, very small. And out of those, what we know is that 910 people have died from this virus. So if you do the math, that comes out to 2.2%. So that means if you were to get this virus, you have a very, very small chance of dying. In fact, it's like getting the flu. Number two, airport policies. So all this stuff is going on in China, and of course we don't want it to go from China to America. So our government has instituted a couple of policies. Now the first one, which you're seeing here on the screen, uh, is for people going to China. And basically, our government is saying, don't do that, right? Don't do that. And then this next uh, policy, which you see on the screen there, is for travelers from China arriving in the United States. And what you can see here is that American citizens, right, who have been over there, when people come back from China, they have to be tested. So our government is being really, really careful to make sure people are not getting into the country that could potentially have this virus. Again. Number three, what can drivers do? Well, first thing you can do is know the facts. And hopefully by this point in the video, you're feeling quite a bit reassured because knowing the facts uh, helps, right? The second thing is that if you feel really concerned, you know, uh, sign up for a delivery service. Instead of driving people around, drive food, a weed, or, you know, Amazon Flex, you know, go drop off things. If you are going to uh, drive people around, the third thing you can do is avoid the topic. So I always say there are three things to don't talk about. Sex, religion, um, sex and religion, and politics. Sex, religion, and politics. Don't talk about those things in the car. So we're adding a fourth one. Don't talk about sex, religion, politics, or the coronavirus. Just and then the fourth thing you can do is, you know, wash your hands. We do uh, come in contact with a lot of people. We pick their luggage up and put it in the car. So uh, wash your hands. You know, if you want to put some wipes in your car, some Purell, you know, great. You know, just things so that uh, germs aren't spread from other people to you. Okay, number four, what you should not be doing as a driver. So I was at the airport and uh, I saw a driver wearing a mask. And I've been really curious about, well, are those masks really effective? 
and I listened to a podcast by uh, with a guy named David Quammen, who was on Fresh Air with Terry Gross. And what I'm showing you is what he said on that podcast. He said, being educated and understanding it and being ready to respond and support government response is very useful. Panicking and putting on your surgical mask every time you go on a subway ride, an airplane, is not nearly as useful. So what he went on to say was that the mask is really good if you're sick because when you <coughs> cough, uh, the particulates, you know, go into the mask and that protects other people. But when it comes to prevention, to keeping things out, uh, they're not nearly as effective. And he said he, in fact, does not wear a mask. The second and most important thing that you cannot do as a driver is discriminate, right? So this has been written up in uh, uh, different articles that drivers are driving up and if it's an Asian passenger, they're not picking them up. They're just driving away. Likewise, some drivers who are of Asian descent um, have gone to make pickups and the passenger looks and sees they're Asian and they choose not to get into the car. I could imagine too, if you pulled up and you had the mask on, uh, some passengers would say, I'm gonna pass. I don't wanna get into that car. This is all wrong. This is discrimination and this should not be happening in our industry, in our world. Number five, where are Uber and Lyft? They have not said anything. So I really would like to call on Uber and Lyft to you know, put out a policy, make a statement, give us some leadership. Um, tell us what we should and shouldn't be doing. Um, so what are my key takeaways? Well, when I looked at the facts, I realized there's not that much there there. This is a fast spreading thing, but it's almost all, uh, as I've shown you, occurring over in China. Our government is kind of putting up the wall so that <laughs> if anyone has the possibility, the potential to be carrying the virus, they're being tested and, and, and medically approved before they're let into society with us. Even if you get it, uh, only 2% of the people who get it are actually dying from it. So all of this discrimination and, and panic in the streets that's going on is not necessary. And uh, my recommendation is you enjoy your driving experience, wash your hands, don't talk about it, and uh, you know, go out and make your money like normal. Uh, I just drove for the last three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I learned pretty quickly not to mention that I was in Bangkok, and then I realized pretty quickly don't even talk about this virus. So I stopped, and from there on, everything was just great. I talked about the Super Bowl, I talked about the Academy Awards, I talked about movies that I've seen, I talked about world travel outside of Southeast Asia, and uh, had a beautiful, uh, beautiful weekend driving, and you can too. All right, hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, inviting you to like the video if you appreciate this public service announcement which we're giving you uh, here in response to this virus. And uh, by all means, if you have not joined our channel, you know, subscribe. If you're a driver and you want the latest information, uh, tips and techniques, how to make more money in less time, this is the place you want to be here at the Ride Share Guy YouTube channel. So go ahead and subscribe. Y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there.